Hey folks, another unboxing video with a product that I just got from Mega Hobby. And let me tell you about Mega Hobby. I love Mega Hobby. I ordered this on the 16th. No kidding, I ordered it on the 16th. It is now, I'm sorry, I ordered it on the 15th. It shipped on the 16th. It is now the 17th St. Patrick's Day and it's here. Amazing. Let me tell you why I hate Mega Hobby. I cannot go on that website and not spend money. But let's get into this. So I needed to order some paints. And they've got free shipping if you spend $100. And of course, I have the logic where I'm like, well, I got to get free shipping. So I have to spend at least $100 every time I go on the website, right? Anyway, I just started looking around and I saw a product. I, I saw a kit that I didn't know existed. And as soon as I saw it, it clicked right in. So we have a bunch of paints for some other projects going on. I got this uh, ammo of MIG Modern Ammunition color set. I don't care about painting ammunition. It just comes with a lot of great metallics, and I love painting um, with ammo of MIG. Because whether you airbrush it or whether you brush paint it, their paints are, are just the perfect consistency all the time. So, But when I saw this, an O2A in 1 32nd scale, I have always loved this aircraft. Uh, I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's the way it looks. Maybe it's the job it did. Maybe it's the fact that it is, it is the most basically modified off the shelf commercial Cessna aircraft that got sent to war. And it did as much to save the lives of folks on the ground as the actual armed aircraft that did the close air support itself. And if you don't know the story of, of the uh, airborne Ford air controllers, they did amazing jobs in planes that were barely armed that could not possibly actually defend themselves. Um, and it, it just, it, Bat 21 is a great movie. It's based on a true story. It's not super accurate, but it just, it features this plane. And I love the shit. Any, anyway, I love this plane. I have built uh, four or five of them, uh, you know, and I've, I've been commissioned to build a couple for some serious collectors in the past that I'm pretty proud of. Let me show you a couple shots. Those were based on the Testers 148 scale, which is really not very detailed, but it's what I had to work with at the time. Um, you know, and there was a one, the, the black one was a an O2A, the actual Ford Air Control version. The camouflage version was the O2B, which was a special operations psychological warfare version. There's just not a lot of options for this kit, but when I saw, so first of all, Rodin does amazing kits, great kits, very detailed, very well done. And when I saw this scale, I, it just was like brain automatic pilot click by. So I just can't wait to see what comes in this kit. So let's take a look. I know I've got all sorts of other things in the works already, but here I am buying another kit, but I can't help it. So now I think that this one, regardless of all this stuff, this is going to be finished in black. It might come with instructions to do a black one because look the fact um, now historical note here it had these markings on the top so that the actual armed aircraft doing the shooting would be able to recognize these guys uh, and they'd fly incredibly low at treetop height in Vietnam and it was basically to let the the bomb droppers and the guys with the big guns give them a visual reference like don't hold your fire the, the good guy is still down in the action right there. That's pretty amazing. Whereas the O2As, the Super Sky Masters, were basically bought and then just given some Air Force radios and some basic weapons on the wings for, you know, I mean, basic, basic. The replacement for this, the OV-10 Bronco, which I think looks like a pig, was specifically designed to replace this. But these guys, man, the job they did was amazing. Yeah, look, this comes with the black version. 
awesome. Onion unit, Vietnam. Um, that's really cool. I had to I had to basically make the markings for that from the unit it came from. I know what unit it, came, it comes from. This doesn't have, oh it does. It just doesn't really, hmm. Not very clear with the painting around here, right there, but whatever, with, with the color trim and everything. But I'm still very excited. I'm not thrilled about doing the ones that are just the plain old aircraft gray, although that was what the majority of them flew, you know, in, in that time frame. I just think that's a boring old paint job. I think that when you do them in black, it gives you a lot of great, the chipping and the weathering shows up really well and it just looks really cool. So I'll be doing that one. All right, anyway. Okay. So a little history for you. Oh, none of these pages are stapled, okay. Parts diagram. I have a feeling that is because you have to make uh, the whip antennas out of uh, plastic. Instead of stretching sprue, I'll be using plastic rod. I have a perfect size for that. Separate control surfaces so you, we can model it as we want, which is nice. Don't like the fact that all of the painting instructions are in grayscale. That's not convenient, but it, it is what it is. At least we have the letters to denote it. And it's not a totally unfamiliar subject, so you know, we'll figure it out. I remember reading online the total wingspan is 14 inches, so I want to take a look at the wings, but at least the pictures are fairly detailed. And very detailed engine with an engine mounting, so I wonder if we have the option of maybe positioning the panels open. Much more detailed cockpit interior than the testers kit ever came with. And the testers kit, you actually have to carve out these sections for the, the observation windows. Uh, they never come out as good as you want them to. So it's nice that they're you know, actually molded in that way. So excited, but no, I'm going to finish the projects we already have going before I start this one. Well, that's a nice, solid piece wing, so I don't have to like glue wing spars together and stuff. And it's a 132nd scale aircraft. You know, there are 148 scale aircraft that have wingspans this big or bigger. But I mean, it's not a very big plane at all. It's it's like it's a little, it's a Cessna. It's a small plane, but solid, solid plastic, not soft, squishy plastic. That's good. And I don't see any wing warp or anything. Pretty good clear parts. Lots of little tiny parts to deal with. Lots of little tiny engine parts and everything. Let's see. I get it to focus. Nice instrument panel. I should have looked if there's photo etch for it. I didn't. But pretty nice decals. And since this is going to be all sealed up, that'll do pretty nicely. Interior of the actual plane was, was pretty bare anyway. Very finely done panel lines and everything. And internal detail. You got a circuit panel over there, basically, and that's it. Lots of little tiny parts. Lots of little parts. Did I mention lots of little tiny parts? A little bit of flash on the prop blade. There's a little bit of flash here and there, but not that much. Oh, here is a little metal whip antenna. I guess that's what that was referring to. It's even got the appropriate bend in it, almost, anyway, and everything. And then two sprues of tail boom and control surfaces. Nice. 
overall, again, like I said, Rodin, oh, ooh, almost lost that. This is an upper, upper window. Um, I think this is the forward one. Goes in the, the wing. But Rodin makes great kits. Uh, I put together a an OV-1. Is it an OV-1? It was an OV-1, not, yeah. By them before in 132 scale, it was fantastic. Went together so easy, looked so good when it was done. I can't wait to get started on this one. I love this plane, love this plane to death. But I am not going to start it until I finish some of the other projects we have going on. I have uh, gotten the custom kind of cool mini Land Raider looking Lehman Russ painted for the most part, doing the detail painting on it now. Working on that M61A5, um, and we've still got those Toroxes that I just sort of pushed to the back burner, and some other stuff that I'm working on too. So, lots of stuff going on, but this will be done on this channel. I just, I'm going to wait till I get some other projects done before I start something new. God, I can't wait to get this done. So anyway, hope uh, some of you out there also are as excited about this kit as I am. What a great, what a great aircraft, and what a great kit this is. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I'll be back again soon.